house of the Lord today. So just give yourself a hand clap. I want to give honor to my pastor, my big brother, my, my best friend, my best friend, my pastor, our pastor, Lauren Doris. He is the epitome of all fathers, all pastors. You, I don't know if we got any visitors in here, but you know, this is the best pastor in Joliet. You gotta walk on me too. Right. I love him. I love him. Uh, see, I already know what I'm saying. He us too. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? To our first lady, God bless you, wherever she is in the house. To all saints and friends. Thank God for Men's Day, for Father's Day. We did pretty good coming out, huh? Y'all like that? We're not gonna prolong this service. I just wanted to thank all the fathers in the, in the audience. Happy Father's Day. God bless you. It is finally it can come. We get one day a year. And so today we're gonna do our best to to to, to praise God for it. Ain't that right, Mother? Amen. How you doing, Mother Girls? All right. All right. So as we move forward, I want to bring up an inspirational uh, 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 speaker. Uh, 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 he's gonna come to you and uh, talk a little bit. Uh, none other than the uh, Minister Willie Sandman. I will bless the Lord at all times, and His praises shall continually be in my mind. We know on this Father's Day we want to honor fathers, but we want to know honor our true Father, our Heavenly Father. Without Him, we are nothing. Without Him, we can't do nothing. In Him, we move. We have our being. And we want to thank God. Let's hear it for God. Let's hear it for Jesus. How many of you out there love the Lord? Uh, how many of you really love the Lord? Our God is an awesome God. An awesome God. I know for almost, it's going to be two years coming next month, it's being a father. But I've been father to my nephews, my nieces, a lot of other people that love me, a lot of families that didn't have fathers in the home, those kids being a father to them. But until I became a father, really knowing the true meaning of being a father and understanding that love, that sacrifice that you would give for your family. But I just thank God for it. And just looking at all these beautiful faces and knowing that we have men, men of valor, men that are trustworthy, men of faith, men that will stand for Jesus. And I mean really just stand for Jesus. So you can be an example to not only just the children, but be on examples for women. Be examples for all that are lost. We need to stand up and be the bold warriors that God has called us to be. That's what the world is looking for. Those true, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized warriors for God. And that's who we are. That's who we are as men. Be about it. Be real with God. Be strong for Him. Do exports. Have a spirit of excellence. That's what I've always been taught. Have a spirit of excellence. And everything that you do and everything that you say, everything you put your hand to, do it with a spirit of excellence. So as I move on, I want to just say, God bless you. All you mean is walk in peace, walk in power, and walk in your authority in Jesus Christ. Amen.
Amen. We thank God for all the men of God. We'll be back in August. Amen. Brother Brad's going to be first up. I don't know who the other two are going to be, Deacon, but you're first up. <laughs> Amen. And we do thank God for all of you. Amen. God just continues to do great things. I think Brother Martin said he's ready to. We were talking yesterday. So we're ready to hear the men of God. Receive this great choir. And we're going to come back and just do a little teaching today. Amen. God is good, isn't he? And you know, I, I talked to my father yesterday just went out to stand and say a few words with him. But then, Brother McGee, I thought about what it would have been like this morning if my family woke up 